back to just between us. Your life's leading source on cutting edge scientific breakthroughs. What's the latest breakthrough? Cash is king. What? So this week I thought we would dive into one of our favorite topics, which is being insecure in our own friendships. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> because I feel recently like I've been backsliding. In what sense? Well, when my bachelorette happened in April, yeah, I was like, wow, all my friends love and care about me. Yes. And I was like, I should never question that ever again. Okay. And then since then, I've just been questioning it more and more and more. By all of us? Who rank who in the friendship, you're, in the friend group from your bachelorette party you're most insecure about? Start at number one. And then just sort of go down the list. I have a number one. No. <laughs> is it, is it me? Is it Celia? No. Is it me? No. Actually, I'm not insecure about you. <laughs> well, that's good, actually. I feel like I've let go of it. There's a couple of people that I'm like, I'm like nervous and I'm like, oh, I'm insecure about the friendship. But now I'm just like, okay. Like, if they don't want to, like, see me as much as I want to see them, then say la vu. So are you still going to try to see them as much as you want to see them? No, I dial it back to about half. Oh. It's like, okay, sometimes it is you. But, but oh, because I've said that before, but sometimes it really is just, like, I, like one girl that I don't, I want to hang out with more, but I don't hang out with her that much. She's, like, turned out pretty sick. Oh, really? Yeah, so, like, you know, and I also am trying to find ways to hang out with people that are less, let's get a drink once every month. And more just like, hey, do you want to come run errands or something? Oh, I casual. Know. I wish casual. that we had more like errand friends. I know, but but you can make people that. Like I'm hanging out with someone I haven't seen in a bit. And I was like worried we're going to have to like do this whole thing. But then I was like, can I just like come over and watch a movie? And she was like, I would love to make a charcuterie board. Like make stuff more low key. But it's hard and it's hard to like, you know, in most of my friendship dynamics, I'm the reacher outer. Yeah, yeah. And so, like, I'm, in some cases, decade a decade into that dynamic. And so it's like, how do I get out of that? Well, is there anyone that reaches out to you a lot? No, come on. <laughs> there are. You just don't like them. No, no. I, I'd say that on, if I'm being completely honest to you, and I don't count you and Melissa because we talk about work stuff. Yeah. I have one friend where it's equal. Like, who are you texting during the day? I'm not. What? Not my parents. What? You're not, like, texting during the day? Not really with my friends, no. I literally only have one friend, and it is Celia, <laughs> <laughs> where I feel like I reach out to her to hang out as much as she reaches out to me, and that's it. Okay, I didn't realize that. I thought you were sort of, like, booked and busy. No, no. I If I want to see a friend other than my neighbor, yeah, <laughs> I have to do the reaching out pretty much, like, 90% of the time. You know what it is? I wonder, sometimes I don't ask you to do stuff because I'm like, it's late at night, she's not going to want to. Or it's like, I think that you're busy or something. I'm not really busy. Or that you wouldn't want to do what I want to do. Well, you like going to the movies. I do like going to okay. the movies. Because I'm just like, what am I going to do? Invite Allison to fucking Revolver at 11 p.m. to like do ketamine? No, you don't, I'm not interested. Well, in no, that. I don't want to do that. I know. <laughs> Our interests, where do they lie? At 7 p.m. on a Saturday, dinner and a do, movie. Happy to do it. I was going to say you want to do ketamine. <laughs> okay, so you would want to do dinner and a movie. So I could do that more probably. Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay, great. And so then you get in your head, right? Because it's like, I'm always the one reaching out. Yeah. It's sort of like, if I wasn't reaching out, would I ever see you? Me? No, like these other oh, people. Oh, oh. You yeah. Know, I have to see you due to contracts. But like... And also, <laughs> I do feel that way about some people, but I've just, I'm just stopped being like, okay. I would literally never see my friends if I didn't initiate hangouts. Well, you know what? what have you tried doing stuff that's like weekly... Us, not assigned, but like we all see each other at Drag Race, or no, we all see each other. No, because I don't have a group of friends. They're not friends with each other. I mean, they know each other and they like are friendly, but none of my friends hang out with each other. Well, why don't you start making them by having like Bachelor Night or something? I don't even watch The Bachelor anymore. I'm just saying, pick something. Yeah, but it's also hard, right? Because I live on the West Side, and most of my friends live pretty far from me. I'm even on like in West Hollywood and it's still like 40 minutes usually. Yeah. But you have such a big space. Like I feel like and such a big TV. Like I feel like you could host stuff. Yeah, I want to. So there you go. No one is going to come to Marina Del Rey once a week to watch something. Why not? People, I'm shocked. The people, the people come in from my kickball team. They're driving in from like far away to just go to WeHo for one day. But I also feel like 
like your friends go out more than my friends. Okay, so yeah, we're we're bumping up against something here. Yeah. Which is that we have different and we've always had this. We're like I have groups. Like right. I have my little like friend groups and you're always more one on one with people. Yeah. Like I get into these I fall into these like whole dynamics, whole like group of people. Right. And then you have like activities that you do and you see them regularly and all that stuff. Yeah. But is it like I'm planning that or is that just how I enjoy being? I don't know. Because like with kickball too, it's like I'm on a new team, right? So it's like all new people. I have to see them every Saturday. I'm going to get to know them. <laughs> Whether, <laughs> Whether they, they want, want you to or not. Want it or not. <laughs> but it's annoying because I was doing better about it. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, I've turned a corner on my friendship and security. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm growing. And yeah. then it turns out not so much. Ideally, what would happen is like someone would text you and be like, do you want to get dinner? Yeah, that'd be so nice. <laughs> you know who does? Someone who's good is, is my friend Michelle, who's through John. Yeah. She's good at reaching out. I feel you know what else it is. I think sometimes people with couples, maybe I'm trying to think of stuff like and I think there's something to me being like, well, I don't know. She's with John because like my other two friends, Kim and Logan, I don't usually like we I, I usually consider them a unit. Mm. which is probably bad like I was thinking about that where I was like why do we I guess it's small talk but like when you come out or I see you know let's say you're out and you're like with a group or something and they go oh where's John like why did I just now say where's John who gives a fuck where John is I'm here to see you but like you always like when there's a couple you always are like oh so good to see you where's you know so-and-so yeah so why did I, I came here to see you. Well, it's also, I... it's our, my home. Like, where is he? You know? Who cares? <laughs> He's not my friend. I don't give a fuck. He's not your friend. He is my friend. He is my friend. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know? Yeah. So, like, I think we need to start seeing people in relationships as individuals. And I can ask Allison to do something without thinking, oh, I wonder if maybe John will be busy or maybe she'll want to be with John or something. Totally. Because John and I actually do a really good job about that. Like, we go out with us separately with friends all the time. Okay, great. Yeah, we're not, like, we have to be together every so moment of the day. many couples are, and then it's, like, weird with friendships. Like, you'll, like, invite someone to hang- You're not like this, but I guess the fear with a couple is that you invite someone to hang out, and then they go, oh, can so-and-so come? Oh, and yeah. Like, and you're like, I guess. <laughs> well, sometimes you like them, but other times you're like, I wish they wouldn't. I think a thing I, I'm holding out for is yeah. that if I have a child, Ah. That seems to be how you really make you make a good friend group. Oh, well, that, well, okay. So my kickball team, if it's it's just me playing kickball, but if I had a kid, it would be that kid playing kickball. I'd have to get to know the people anyway. That's what I'm talking about. But So you can be the child. Why don't you just make yourself the child right now? I don't want to play kickball. Okay, well, I'm just saying join something. But I don't really see that's that's the that's the the given thing. You're not a joiner. I don't really like to join weird things. Yeah. I don't. I'm not. I don't do well in community. <laughs> For science. Science investigated and it's true. Cash is king, baby. That's literally the opposite of what science is saying <laughs> right now. That couldn't be further from the. We're all gonna be paying with like chips in our foreheads. <laughs> At Whole Foods now, they they do a thing where they can you can pay with your palm. No. That if you give if you give Amazon your palm, no. they'll keep it on file. You can pay with it. I bet they will. <laughs> you know what the Unabomber was against was all of this. I know. And you know what? He's right. Okay. 